Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So currently copper prices are high, which is great, and people have started to ask me if it's worth getting a wire stripper. I have one, I love it, I use it all the time, but it's not for everyone. And I think in order to answer that question, there's three things you have to think about um, if you are trying to decide on if you're gonna get a wire stripper. Number one, how much time do you have? Number two, how much wire do you have? And number three, what types of wire do you have? Um, if I was to take, for example, this Cat5 here, in my opinion, I'm actually going to lose money stripping this because there is not a lot of copper recovery in here. And I'm actually, if I take the coating off, I'm gonna lose a lot of weight and I'm gonna make less from the copper as I would with the weight from the plastic and get um, the lower grade value of copper wire with this. I actually have another video where I actually do an experiment on the different types of wire and whether it is worth stripping. I will take the weight and the price of the stripped wire compared to the wire with uh, the coating on it. So if you're interested, go check that out. Um, I also, in this video, just kind of want to show my wire stripper, talk about some advantages of it, um, show actually how it works and show you how nice it is. Um, so I will also do that. Um, so here we go. Uh, as I said, the first thing, uh, I'm also going to talk about some different prices. Currently in Canada right now, coated wire is categorized into, they look, scrappers look at two things. They look at copper recovery and copper to plastic ratio. And there are actually two prices you're gonna get. There is, um, in London anyway, London, Ontario, there is a 40% copper recovery and there's a 60%. Currently, the 40% copper recovery is about $1.20 a pound right now, which is great. And the 60% copper recovery is about $1.60 a pound Canadian, which is even better. And as I said, some copper wire like this, I am not going to strip. Um, it's not worth my time and then I am not going to get much uh, for the clean copper inside of it. Um, there are wires like Romex. This stuff I get a lot of and there are things that you want to consider with a wire stripper. As I said, this wire stripper I got about a year and a half ago. I paid $250 for it. It is a Stripmeister. It's a basic model. It is drill powered. So I hook the drill up to this and it uh, turns the wheels and I feed the wire through. There's all types of different uh, um, wire stripper. There's some that are bigger, that are industrial size. There's some that are electric that have a motor on it. There's actually some on Google that you can get that are hand cranked, um, which are a lot cheaper. So that is something definitely to look into. Um, if I had a lot of Cat5 or you know lower grade wire, I'm probably not gonna spend $250 on a wire stripper like this. Um, as you can see behind me, this nice pile, I do have a lot of wire. There's a lot of construction in my area right now. A lot of the electricians have been throwing out their household wire or Romex wire. They've been throwing out their LVT wire, which is the brown wire that goes up to garages uh, or furnaces. And with their permission, they've allowed me to take it, uh, which is great. I can divert it from the landfill. Um, and also I'm able to strip it and get some money for charity. Um, and just to show you, for example, the amount, these three spools together are right here, 30 pounds. Currently in Canada, Wire copper is categorized into three categories. The highest being bare bright. That is your bare bright. Uh, it's like the shiny penny look. Currently it's about $4.09 a pound Canadian. The next thing which would be these spools are your number one copper. Currently number one copper is $3.90 a pound Canadian. So just here alone if I did the math there is almost $40 right here. And as you can see behind me, there are a lot more spools. So I have almost actually made my money just on these spools of wire alone, and I haven't even completed or gotten close to completing my pile. 
So for me, having a stripper definitely speeds up the process. I know I'm going to make the money back. Uh, and just to show it, this pile of waste right here, um, definitely this sped up the process. A year and a half ago, I did not have this wire stripper. I was actually hand stripping the stuff. It was taking for hours to do. So this type of job that would have taken me days has minimized it or cut it down to hours, which is awesome. Okay, so definitely an advantage of a wire stripper is it speeds up the time. Okay, and as I was going back to insulated wire, this wire right here, the difference is, as I said, if you look at this, there is not a lot of copper in here. So this would be your 60% recovery. And so would this, okay? This is your household wire. It comes in different colors. It's called Romex wire. It comes in whites, it comes in yellows, it comes in reds, and there are also thicker wires inside. As is, because there is an outer coating on this, and there are inside one piece of clean and two wires that have coating also on them, this is going to be higher plastic um, ratio to copper recovery. So this is gonna be your 40% copper recovery because there is more plastic around it. Now, the first thing I do without even getting a wire stripper, I can easily put this to 60% recovery just by doing one quick thing. And I'm actually just gonna show you very quickly. Just gonna put a small incision in this. I'm gonna take, turn it around actually, sorry. So sometimes you have to find the middle. My brother taught me this, who's an electrician. Shout out to Brandon. I'm just gonna grab the clean wire here and I'm actually just gonna pull all the way down. I have safety glasses on just because the edges are sharp and I don't want them poking me in the eye. But as you can see now, I have a really nice number one. It's almost bare bright. Sometimes it is bare bright. Um, if I looked at this, this one is your bare bright. This one is just a little bit under. So it depends on your scrapyard, but either way, if this is number one price, I'm still getting $3.90 a pound, which is great. And now, just by simply removing the outer shell, I've just taken this now and gone from $1.20 to $1.70 a pound because there is a lot less plastic now. It's just one layer of plastic. Um, and some people just leave this as is and put it into their um, insulated copper wire. And this is where a, stri a, a, a stripper comes into play. The nice thing about a stripper is now, very simple, if I, I could do this by hand, but I don't have to because I have this. Um, and I'm gonna do that in a second. Um, I'm also gonna show you another example. Okay, here is another piece of Romex. It's just a higher grade. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Where's my knife? Just the same little trick, just removing my outer casing there. I've done that. Here is my clean piece, pull that out. There's my clean now. Here are my two insulated. As I said, these are heavier and thicker. So I definitely want to wire strip these because the copper content in there is nice and heavy. And I'm gonna go from $1.50 or $1.60 a pound like this to $3.90 just by stripping it. Okay, so that's definitely an advantage. The other advantage of a wire stripper is it's not always copper wire you're gonna get. Some places you actually can find aluminum wire. As you can see inside there, the metallic look, this wire is actually what hydro uh, workers use. This is the wire that goes from your hydrometer down to the road. This is also sometimes used in houses. Aluminum wire is uh, about 90 cents Canadian a pound clean, probably 20 cents with this coating on it. A wire stripper can easily take that uh, coating off and you can, like I said, gain 70 cents a pound on this. Aluminum is also um, um, conductive. It's cheaper, to be, it's cheaper to make, it's cheaper to use. And actually a lot of our motors now that we're starting to find while scrapping are becoming, you know, aluminum. So, you know, having the wire stripper, it is also beneficial to be able to strip this and maximize your profit from this as well. Um, I also, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna actually also just show you, uh, and I don't really strip 
extension cords, but I'm just gonna actually show you an example, show you how easy this is. I'm gonna take a part of this. Um, extension cords, this, because it has a coating on the outside, it has inside two wires, this would be your 40% recovery. Um, if I bend this, there are some extension cords that are higher valued copper, but as you can see how flimsy this is, there's not much copper inside. Uh, and all I'm going to do, the nice thing about uh, this wire stripper, I'm actually just going to feed this in to show you how easy a wire stripper is. I'm just going to take some of this off. I'm just going to, I don't want to do the whole thing. But again, having a wire stripper like this, if you are the type that wants to strip everything, in my opinion, it's not always worth it. And as I said, normally I would not strip this, but I'm just showing you how it works. Um, so here we go. I'm going to do a couple things here. As I said, this is my Strip Meister. It's the basic model. Um, definitely the cheapest, cheapest from the Strip model uh, line. There are cheaper online, like I said, that are hand cranked. Uh, for me, this does the job. I have a lot of wire and as I said, it is hooked up to a drill. There are two levers on it. Um, this lever will raise the um, whatever hole I want to the cutter depth. This one will raise up and down the cutter, the wheel inside. Um, as you can see, there are different holes for different size wire. Um, and, you know, for, for some of these, because this is not your um, higher grade um, stripper, wire stripper, it doesn't do every hole. Um, I've actually had a couple if I raise this one up, this one will actually, yes, it fits in there, but there have been some that won't. Um, but again, this suits my needs. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, just to show you, I've actually already stripped a whole bunch of my outer coating off of my Romex, and I could have put this through the stripper as is, but I just find this so much easier just doing it with a knife. Um, and it's actually kind of therapeutic for me, but I could have done it, here is my end result. One piece of advice when you do wire strip, you want to keep all of your um, same size wire together because if you have it all mixed up, you're going to spend a lot of time changing the, the height of your cutter blade. Okay, so that is one important thing you want to do is make sure you check. Uh, I'm going to also just put a C clamp on this bench just to keep my stripper intact so it doesn't vibrate, doesn't come off. I'm going to attach my drill. And I'm going to just start with all of my basic Romex, uh, the first brand I have. I'm just going to lower my cutter blade. Make sure the depth is right. And sometimes the first couple cuts just takes a second to get it lined up, I'm going to check, make sure it is in there properly. All right, so here we go, easy and effective, there's one, just going to do a couple here, keep feeding it through, two, this is the thicker one, maybe. Sometimes you can get away with it. Okay, so very nicely and effective. Okay, as you can see, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to just peel this off, find the hole where it's cut. I'm just going to pull that. Now I have some number one copper. The coating actually has two parts. It's almost like there's like a, almost like a snake skin. And the nice thing about this wire is this actually doesn't weigh that much. So it's amazing when you have this on together, you're getting a dollar 20 a pound. And really this doesn't weigh much. So just taking that little step, going from a dollar 60 a pound to 390, just like that. Uh, and again, or as I said, actually this could be bare, bare bright, so $4.09 a pound. Um, and as you can see here, it adds up quick. Uh, my higher diameter, or diameter wire 
I'm gonna do this thicker one, okay? All I'm gonna do is just adjust the blade just a little bit. I gotta raise it up a little bit, okay? Okay, same idea. You can see it just peeled off nice, okay? There's my garbage. There is now a thick piece of Bear Bright. And one thing I do wanna say about Bear Bright is the rule is to classify it as Bear Bright. Some people will look at that and say, oh, it's the nice shiny color. It's gonna be Bear Bright. And sometimes motors, inside motors, you have really fine copper wire that's Bear Bright color. However, it is not going to be classified at a scrapyard as Bear Bright. The rule is if the wire is less than a pencil lead thick, it's going to count as number uh, two, not one, number two, which is your lower grade. Okay, so this, if I look at the difference, okay, there is, and even here is my basic Romex, the difference. This is your pencil. This is your thicker than pencil lead. This is your really thin stuff. This is gonna be, unfortunately, number one, as is all the tiny hairs on your wires, uh, on your motors. This, even though you can see there are strands coming out of it, this, because it is blumped together in nice uh, cord, this will still count as number one or bare bright, depending um, on um, the scrapyard. But uh, that is your difference, okay? And the last example I want to show you is the extension cord. Again, I'm just going to raise, actually I have to raise the cutter blade deck as well because it's a, a different thickness. So I'm going to raise, put that down. It might take me a couple tries because I have to figure out the depth of this cutter blade. So there it is, you just reverse it, put the blade down. Okay, so that's cut through. There's a couple spots where it just hasn't really gotten to. Maybe go one more pass, just because I haven't gotten the blade all the way down. There we go. So as you can see inside, this as is would have been your 40% recovery, which would be $1.20. All I did was I take the outside coating off. If you're interested in looking at what an extension cord is, here's another thing that's great. Inside an extension cord, there is your coating. There is some almost like yarn, I guess, or string. Inside, here are my two cords. There's not a great recovery, but now this is 40% recovery. So this has gone from $1.20 to $1.70 or $1.60 a pound because it is now 60% copper recovery, okay? So there are definitely some pros to my to stripping wire. But again, looking at time, it definitely saved time. The type of wire, I have tons of Romex and I continue to get nice thick wire. So for me, it is beneficial to have a wire stripper because I'm gonna make that money back and then some from the wire that I have. So you definitely wanna see how much wire you have. And the third thing is the type of wire. If I had just spools and spools of your Cat5 and thinner appliance wire, I would probably not invest in a drill powered or heavy heavy duty wire stripper because they would take way too much time and the copper recovery would not I would not see the return in it for a very long time hope that answered your question um, again I love my wire stripper but you have to ask yourself those three questions in my opinion hope you enjoyed the video please comment down below like share subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.